hello everybody welcome or welcome back to this youtube channel thank you so much for always coming back and in this video i want to take you along some days in my life and in this week i was invited for the sixth kipra annual conference which was held in kilifi kenya that is pwani university this year's theme was accelerating economic growth and development of ourselves, that is arid and semi-arid lands in Kenya. And to understand what we, how we can apply policy makers in that process of actually working with data. So how do we build a data culture? How do we set together a team that has the right capacity so that we can use, for example, satellite data for us or other sources? Um, and the result of that is what we call the Data to Policy Navigator. And I encourage you to take off your phone as you did a little bit earlier and to scan um, the QR code um, for the Navigator, uh, which you can check out, where you will find resources that you can use specifically tailored to policy makers um, that will guide you through, for example, identifying the data that you need, setting up the data sharing agreement, building the data. The conference brought forth other dignitaries from around the world and within the country. And among them, we had the chair of the Council of Governors on ASAL, that is Governor Nadif Adam. We also had the PS ASAL's Honorable Idris Dakota. Also present was the CEO of National Drought Management Authority, Mr. Harid Hassan, and also the CEO of NCBP, Dr. Abi and many more dignitaries from all over the country. And in this conference, there was a lot of great engagements and insightful discussions that will lead to an accelerated economic growth, development, and inclusivity on all ASAL regions within the country, which happens to be about 29. Guys, at this point, the DP had already arrived in Pawnee University and was paying a courtesy visit to the big offices and a lot of patrol and security details to ensure the security of the deputy president. Guys, this kind of treatment, man, power is good, guys. Power is good. <laughs> For me, what really encouraged me was the fact that everyone in this conference was trying to look for a solution or rather short-term responses so that we are able to mitigate the drought and famine impact in our communities and the nation at large. I love you. You're my friend. And you smell so fresh. You smell so fresh. Come on, come on, buddy. 
Okay. You know, guys, this was my routine for the week. And then the conference ended on Friday and on Saturday we did some tree planting. So I decided to take you along to see this famous, magnificent, huge church in Mavweni known as New Life. My friend, see this place is built. I'm just going to give you a glimpse of the entire place, how it looks. And the church sits on six acre piece of land with magnificent buildings with a seating capacity of slightly above 45,000 people and a parking lot of over 2,000 vehicles. Manze, see people have money out here. Guys, look at all this belonging to one person. Belonging to one person. So, just to note, I'm just taking you through a random video, a random vlog of the entire estate. Rather, I'd rather call it an estate because, hey, it is more than an estate. Gosh, the place is huge. The place is so huge. Look at the church. Look at this church, 45,000 persons and more can have a sitting at a go in one service. Muliona wapi, muliona wapi, kadisaka hiyo. Guys, the people are blessed. The people are blessed out there. Look at this church. And uh, I hear every day, please note that this video was taken while... The man of God was still in custody, so that's why you don't see a lot of traffic. But hey, it's a huge space. One day when I'm able to, I'm going to get in and get a clearer video of the whole place. Just to show you guys. I've never been here. This video is not mine. But I'm just showing you how the place is and how beautiful it looks. Just from a glimpse. Look at the buildings. Look at the workmanship. Guys, people are blessed outside here. Lol. Wow. Wow. Look at the entrance door. This is the main entrance door to the church, I guess. Oh. So this is pretty well how I spent my week and then on Sunday I just went to the beach. Tunashuka Baoba Beach in Kilifi. Yeah, look at the beach. Mm -hmm. Up, when you come without your swimsuit, you can get yourself up here, here, and um, basically, this is the beach point. People are swimming, and the beach today is very clean. Mm -hmm. See. We'll bring you along. Beach stuff, eh? I'm assuming. When you are, eh? We are at Baoba Beach in Kelefi and at Nanda to swim. Look at how clean the beach is. The first time you go to the beach, you can see the beach. Unfortunately, it was so windy and the waters were so rapid, so we couldn't swim. So we just had some little chat here and there and a little gaming and we were done for the day and we went back home.
to start preparing for the week. Guys, when I got home, I made dinner wraps very fast, a quick fix. Then I started folding clothes that were lying on the seats. So, because it's a Sunday evening, I had to do this, of course, with the help of my babas. Yeah. This is folding. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Until our next shoot, I want to say bye. Adios, amigos. Mwah.